The hero animation is a widely spread animation and that's why we will cover it in this tutorial. So this is an example of what we'll be learning on this class. And it's a simple hero animation. So stay tuned. If you are interested in any or all of these classes, it's definitely worth to check out Skillshare. Get a free month of Skillshare and stream more than 18,000 online classes on subjects like design, business and tech. Link is in the description. So this is a newly generated project. I've just changed a bit of titles and stuff like that. So we will start off by creating a body. So this body will have a hero widget. So what this hero takes is a tag. So the tag is pretty much an ID for this hero animation. You need a unique ID for the hero on both the widgets to appear or work. So for this page, we need a hero animation or a hero widget. And this will be the tag of Fluffy logo. So if you have a, a image from my database, that will be something like image.id. Uh, so let's set a JSON detector to be able to press this image. And just set a uh, navigator, navigator, and then set a Fluffy logo for this example. And you can have any image that you want. And let's create the other class so we can run this. So the other class will just be another, another page that we will navigate to. So right now, when we press the image, it will simply navigate to a new screen. So what we now need to do is set this image here so that we can see the hero animation in progress. So let's add a center to the body and a hero. So that's because we just want the hero in the middle or the image in the middle. So inside the hero, we set the tag again to the same as the tag we used before. So if you're having a database image, that will be image.id again. And then we set the child. So I will just set the size to a bit larger, just for an example. And then we can see if we run this. So now we have our hero, hero animation example. If I would press this image, we would navigate to a new screen. And as you see, that is working. And if we navigate back, it will go back to the same spot. So this would work with any any examples so if you have a list you can have a list of images and navigate to a new screen and the image would appear like this so the hero animation is a really easy tool that you can use and uh, or widget so i highly recommend it instead of writing your own code for that and i hope you liked this tutorial it was a very short one uh, and i will see you in the next tutorial